Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of our modded Fallout 4 Let's Play series. Today we're going to be clearing through the Corvega assembly plant and rescuing the settlers at Ten Pines Bluff, so let's go ahead and get started right away. Okay, so here we go. If we are careful about this, we should be able to clear out uh, at least part of this floor without alerting everyone. Or, you know, I, <laughs> I could trigger like a minor tripwire instantly. That works too. Uh, let's try sneaking back this way. I'm hoping, uh... Nope! I thought we might not run into anybody back here. But it looks like we cleared out the only guy who would have caught us, so... That's good, at least. <laughs> let's go ahead and check for any stim packs or anything in here. And... It sounds like everybody and their sister knows we're here. Uh, is that monkey gonna trigger... No, I think it probably already did. Alright, so we'll just grab the useful scrap here. Definitely want to always take keyboards, but... Besides that, I think we're good. Uh, let's just quick save here and heal up once before we take like 50 hits all in one quick go. Whoa, hello! Vats is our friend. <laughs> just ran directly into the barrel. All right, well, that's one raider down. Uh, what else we got going on here? Hello! Get out of here! Man, I am loving this hunting rifle. It has just been doing work ever since we got it. Just like, what a difference having the right weapon makes. Boom! Also, this scope has been really, really nice as well. <laughs> I gotta say. I gotta find out what mod this is from, but I know it's one of them in the list. Uh, let's see. We will take the guns and the grenades, because we definitely want those grenades for later on. In fact, maybe here we should start making use of our explosives. We were talking about how we want to kind of spec into them. We should probably have them ready to go. Okay, good. We got frag grenades loaded. So next enemy we see in the right position, we can just go ahead and throw a frag in there and hopefully clear them out. I want to do some practice with them because they're actually a little bit difficult to aim. They're, they're quite bouncy. Or maybe you just throw them really, really hard. We got a toy car with a screw. I will always take stuff that has screws in it just for weapon mods. But adhesive is the thing we're really, uh, that we really want to focus on at the moment. Just because that seems to be the bottleneck for our modding. Okay, so now we are kind of in the recognizable location that I feel like everybody's familiar with. We're down on the ground level. Ooh. Come on, 50-50. No, wow. That's or probability, I guess, letting me down. Gotta just go with some skill. Oh, jeez. Nope. Okay, forget skill. Let's go with bayonet. Oh, he was way closer, I swear. Oh, damn. <laughs> Man, this hunting rifle is nuts. Even the melee damage on it is huge. Oh, careful, though. Trying to grenade us. Take that. And uh, I think we're ready to clear out the main battle arena here. Get out of here. Okay. Let's make use of our grenades we were talking about. Yeah, gotcha. And we definitely need to heal up here. Let's heal up and let's actually also take a rat away so we can get full health. In fact, this is about to be a pretty intense fight. Let's take some medics, our last psycho, and we're probably good on everything else for now. And then uh, let's get that rat away going. One of them, and probably, what, one more stim pack? <laughs> I love the screaming when you're on psycho. There we go. Okay, cancel that one. There's no way that's going to hit. There we go, and uh, I believe, it looks like we got the guy on the second floor there, but there's a couple people over here by the turret. What? That should have been able to still hit. Is this, like, secretly a solid texture? Yeah, there's no gap in between these pipes. Okay, well, uh, let's reload here, and actually, let's try switching over to the pipe rifle. We're going to run out of uh, hunting rifle rounds if we're not a little more frugal. Nice try. Is there anybody hiding down here? Guess not. Light this turret the fuck up! Oh wow, this is not effective use of bats. <laughs> okay, let's use those grenades we were talking about again. Boing. Gotcha. Nice. Okay, so grenades definitely have their use. We'll uh, try and start working them into the repertoire so it's uh, not something we have to think about as much. Also, we should have, yes, the Corvega security key, which I believe we got from clearing out Concord, actually. Which is why I say this is almost a required location in this, because one of your Radiant quests will send you here, and the main quest is what gives you the key to unlock this area. 
And there is all kinds of good shit in here. Nice. Ooh, some 38 rounds. That's fantastic. How are we doing on 38 rounds now? Uh, hunting rifle. We have 12. Okay, let's, uh, let's save those for now for when we get to the top floor. Because first, we're going to want to clear out the basement. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a couple more people upstairs here. Um, but while they don't see us, let's go ahead and loot as much of this as we can because if we wait, uh, I'm not going to be able to remember who we looted and who we didn't. Here we go. Don't need the knuckles. And we should have already looted. Well, yeah, we should have already looted them before the doors were opened. So I think we're good on this floor. Oh, wait, did, uh, nope, we gotta get this one too. Silver table knife, hell yeah. Okay, so, um, I think we're good, except for this guy here, and now we can go upstairs and clear out the, uh, there's a far side, sort of, of the second floor that needs, uh, that's got two or three dudes, with actually some pretty good gear, if I remember right. That was embarrassing. Break a lock pick on this novice lock. All right. Duct tape, that's what I'm talking about. That's the adhesive that we need oh so badly. Wonder glue, duct tape, or if you're really lucky, uh, package of duct tape. Shit, that's like five. All right, um, nothing, oh, toy rocket ship, I'll take that. Nothing huge, though, over here. Um, probably a good idea to take these things out, even though it's going to give us away. Just because they really, uh, I don't know if they improve enemy aim or how it exactly it works, but the second you get spotted by these spotlights, you're just, like, done. Uh, doesn't look like they have any turrets down here. I gotta fight back because I wanna live. What? Get out of here. <laughs> uh, so much work for the one, and the second one just gets dropped. Alright, so, uh, we cleared these jokers out of this floor, and there's actually some goodies down here. Uh, back in the bedroom? Oh, hey. Apparently, uh, there's another guy here. Yeah, I already reloaded, smart one. Oh, you're playing with my dog? Ba boom Get out of here! I love how the bayonet is just a straight-up knife, like, stuck in the bottom of the gun. I guess probably a lot of detachable bayonets are like that. I don't know, I'm not a... I'm, I'm not an owner of many bayoneted weapons. Or any weapons with bayonets, or weapons for that matter. But... I do want to see, is there loot hidden up here? Yeah, there's like a scaver or something. Can I? Okay, it is accessible, I was going to say. Settler, nice. Uh, nothing too, too crazy. I will take this vest, sleeveless top, and fatigues, though. That's another one of Eleanor, excuse me, Eleonora's mods. Uh, one of my favorite modders. She's been doing stuff all, for quite a while. I know she had a lot of Skyrim mods I really enjoyed as well. Definitely worth checking out her stuff. Uh, let's see what this, uh, what kind of stats we get on this thing. The vest, sleeveless tops, and fatigues. One endurance. Okay, there's one I'm holding out for that I think is a great replacement for the Grognak costume. I believe it's actually like a, a comic book themed t-shirt. Um, but that's what I really want because then I don't have to be bare chested. Okay, so we're all done with this large area and the little offshoot there now. So now we're going to go clear out the basement and sewer connection. Um, if you do a little bit of reading on the terminals, uh, you find out that they have auto turrets and sentries downstairs specifically to deal with... Uh, oh, that's not one of the motion trackers. This one is. Um, specifically to deal with the ghoul infestation on this floor. And so we'll mop all that up too and see if we can find any worthwhile loot or scrap. Uh, nice, chem box. Man, we are getting some actually pretty good stuff here. Uh, these are the kinds of dungeons I really enjoy. I know I've done Corvega probably like 30 plus times, especially since it repopulates after a while, but uh, it's, I think it's one of the best designed dungeons, I really do. It just it has a great feel to it. There's plenty of enemies. There's even em enemy variety um, between the turrets and the ghouls, and then of course all of these many, many raiders. And... It's a long dungeon that's accessible at a low level, which makes it well worth uh, exploring. Let's see. Anything cool back here by the radioactive barrels? No? Fine by me. Okay, so... Let's finish clearing this stuff out. Oop. Pick this lock here. Find out once and for all. It is just a cooler, not a chem cooler, as I always call it. <laughs> Ooh, some crates. Nice. I used to think these were all explosives boxes, but I think that uh, that might have been New Vegas that all the yellow boxes were full of explosives. 
There we go. Got it. Nice. Okay, so no cigarettes in the cigarette machine, unfortunately, yes, but we do have some raiders to kill through this door. Okay, let's be careful. I'd like to get one stealthy shot here. Nope, no stealthy shots. That's okay. We took him out still. Let's get away from these uh, explosive barrel, or explosive propane tanks here. Whoa, no, I'm pinned. Keep my bayonet, bitch. Boom. Yeah. Getting a little bit better with this, uh, with this terrible, terrible scope. <laughs> I was like, I ain't waiting for a reload. Oh, dog meat. Oh, here come the ghouls, and we are at really low health. Gotta heal. No? Oh, yes, okay. I was like, I hear them. Fuck, good thing we have this awesome bayonet. This thing is really paid out in dividends. Usually I don't bother with the bayonets, but, uh... I gotta say, I think I'm gonna start. This thing has been killer. Actually, I think it's more effective. The bayonet's more effective than the actual uh, pipe rifle. <laughs> I'll take the gas canisters. I'll definitely take the hot plate uh, for the copper and the screw and the circuitry. It's got all the stuff that you want. Um, but that's gonna pretty much do it for here. Hey, I know this texture. This is what you use at the um, the. Oh, I wish I could remember the name. You use it to make like a. a radiation charging power armor chest it's that like a uh, god I wish I could remember the name it's got such a weird name it's like a fabrication uh, plant anyways let's uh continue moving through here I think we've cleared the whole basement area now is there another entrance I'm trying to remember was there one over here no okay we got everything in here let's see what's through this door does this just lead, lead us right back upstairs this just is another way to enter in here Oh, we're back here when we came down these stairs in the first place. Okay, let's go back this way. Ooh, was that? Yeah, I almost missed duct tape. Oh, uh, okay, so we're over encumbered. We're about two-thirds of the way through the dungeon here, so I'm going to just offload as much as I can to dog meat. Fortunately, whoa, where did you get an automatic MP40 dog meat? <laughs> dog meat's been doing some moonlighting work. And that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's dump off all this stuff that we're not going to use. I do kind of miss having a shotgun, but I wanted to go with a play style for once. It's easy enough to use whatever has the highest damage at the time, but I think it's more fun if we try and focus a bit more. All right, that's probably more than I need to give him. So now we should have, yeah, plenty of space. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to go back this way because I remember there was another path down here we didn't take. Ah, this is how we get to the sewers, of course. And we will uh, decommission these things right away. Aha, there's the turret that I was uh, talking about before. I guess... Nope, I was gonna leave this turret up, but, um... Jeez, <laughs> that was bullshit. The thing just spun 180 degrees and knocked us the fuck out. Okay, it's fine. We're not too far back. At least I'm learning to uh, quick save more frequently. However, let's also learn to heal ourselves before we go back in there. <laughs> uh, oh, dog meat. I didn't want them to know we were here. Get him! Get him! Dog meat, kill that turret. Wow, dog meat is really bad against turrets. Then again, so are we. Over here. Uh, oh, stop. I hate it when you get them stuck in like the command mode, just like trying to pick stuff up, and you, <laughs> they're just running all over creation. It seems like most of the time you end up. Uh, that's cool. It seems like most of the time you just end up uh, <laughs> uh, attacking them by accident. <laughs> Like, le telling them to wait somewhere, and you fast travel, and you're like, where the fuck is dog meat? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Nice. Ten millimeter rounds, not exactly what we're looking for, but I'll take it. And Lonnie's Terminal. Anything good in Lonnie's Terminal? I don't actually remember this one. Uh, this is the key. There we go. So this is the same group that we took, or that we cleared out of Lexington. That explains why they had the key. Uh, Gristle is the boss we'll be clearing out shortly. Nice. There looks like they're going to clear out some apartments. Weird when the raiders are doing stuff that doesn't seem super raidery. Uh, I've asked Jared for another turret down here. He says he's working on it, but ain't convinced he ain't just blowing me off. Uh, so he can get back to playing with his chems. We need another turret. This pipe uh, access to Lexington has been great for us so far, but like I was saying, this is where all the ghouls are coming from, so they want to get it defended. Uh, 
<laughs> they lured ghouls in with a booze-filled uh, party. And, uh, what's, who, who's Jared? Ah, oh, he might be the boss. I don't know if it's Gristle or him. I guess we're going to find out here in a minute. Well, thank you for the info, Lonnie, uh, but we are pretty much all done down here. Is there any other loot or anything worth taking? Get them. No, probably just, just going to be like two. Exit to Concord. Yeah. Just an exit. That's okay. All right, so we've cleared out the entire basement. We've cleared out the entire ground floor. Time to head upstairs and uh, take this place once and for all. Oh, hey, we missed some cans. Yeah, always take the cam can chimes, though, if you're planning on doing settlement stuff, because they're worth, like, a ton of tin cans each. Or a ton of tin, uh, yeah, well, tin cans each, which is nice. All right, so all done down here. Just got to make our way back up to where it's happening. And I believe we looted all these guys. I'm not going to stand around too long worrying about it. And we can take the elevator, but that's no fun because we missed the kitchen. So we'll take the long way around. Also, if I'm not mistaken, there might be a mine here somewhere. But I may be conflating one of the many, many static uh, staircases that looks the same. Nice, an aluminum can. All right, there we go. Some actual, like, uh, valuables. But unfortunately, no real loot down here. So maybe it would have been better to take the elevator. Ah, well. At least maybe we can make some friends along the way. If I'm not mistaken, there may even be a terminal to hack. Yes. Directly across. Can we sneak to the terminal and activate the prote Protectron before they spot us? Is the question. Because I am really not good at hacking. Uh, it's not that. It's not that. It could be this. Nope. It's not that. Nope. Nope. Can't be that. Can't be that. It's like Mastermind. I was never very good at it. No... VIP. That could be that. No. What? Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, so I'm gonna get locked out. Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at these. Uh, let's see. Could be f not farms. No. Could be not sends. Nothing that ends in S. Could, is it shown? It's shown. Oh, that's not the button. There we go. All right. <laughs> we barely did it. So, we get a Protectron, and we can choose the personality mode. I'm not totally clear if any of these actually matter, but I'm going to go with the medical responder. It changes what they say. And we'll go ahead and activate the unit and hope that he picks a fight with the raiders before we move in here. Okay. Let's hide, though, because I don't quite get what the point of doing this is usually, because if they notice you, the Protectron will just kick your ass. Okay, Protectron, I have faith in you. I want you to kill, like, four of these dudes. Wow. That was not particularly helpful. Uh, let's at least take a nice sneak attack shot at the boss here, because that is definitely him. Ba-boom! One shot him. Nice. All right, and we actually haven't been spotted yet. See, we accomplished the quest just by sniping him from here. That's pretty slick. Can we pick off anybody else before they see us? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, can we take this whole place and, with stealth? That'd be pretty cool. I think there's one more on ground level at least, maybe two. And one more upstairs as well, I believe. I think there's one guy, yep. Oh, shit. See, this is what we gotta be careful of. Can we take out... Where's that light actually... Or spotlight actually coming from? Scared, huh? you should be. Not scared. More annoyed. There it is. Alright, too late. See, the spotlights, man. I'm telling you. Nothing but trouble. Okay. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, let's get some cover. Let's heal up. They seem to have found some gasoline on the floor. I gotta pay more attention to that. <laughs> After last episode, I thought I'd have learned my lesson. Alright, take it easy there. You guys aren't even doing that meaningful of damage anymore. Whoa! <laughs> you guys, I never learn. Never. That's what that's what I'm finding out here. I, I, let's just hope that at least one of those was a Molotov and I'm not totally blind. Alright. Now we have actually almost totally cleared this out. One more guy. Come on. 
Gotcha. Nice, and a level up to boot. And I bet you we have at least one, maybe two perk points to spend. Yes! Okay, so let's take a look at our perks so far. It's been, God, it feels like forever since we've spent any points. Um, we've talked about doing a couple different things, but before we get too ahead of ourselves, we're definitely going to need to grab some required stuff. So we've got Rifleman, and it's doing 40% more damage. That's pretty dang good. Uh, I'd also like to take Heavy Gunner eventually, but we don't even have our rocket launcher yet, so no huge rush on that. And Explosives Expert, I think, is... What is Explosives Expert? What does that fall under? Is that, like, Perception or something? Hmm, there is a perk that increases explosive damage, but maybe we're just not uh, high enough level to have it at our disposal yet. That's okay. Uh, <clears throat> there's still plenty of other stuff. So first up, we've got Gun Nut. Uh, let's go ahead and grab, uh, where is it, Armorer, so that we can start upgrading our gear. There she is. And then also, one more thing that's going to help us out here a little bit. Mr. Sandman is a little too situational. You know what? Let's take Sneak. We're going to do like a rifle class, and then when we do get busted, we're going to break out like the, the uh, missile launcher and stuff. So that's great. Okay, so now it's time to loot. Let's just put away our weapon and go ahead and pick up everything we can carry that's not utter garbage. So actually a pretty good amount in this area. Um, keep out. I think there might be a chest hidden back here, but I can't quite remember. No, not a lootable settler. Empty vodka. Not worth taking. Hey! I'll take this gold watch, though. Uh, anything back on these shelves? No. This place is actually... This floor, I wish they'd done a little bit more with, because most of this room is just empty space. Though it is kind of cool to see the assembly line. Uh, none of the... Though none of the stuff on it is really worth taking. It tends to weigh a lot more than is uh, worth hauling back to base. But that's okay. Uh, let's move up here and we'll push across the little extendo bridge. I like how it like is to accommodate uh, semis pulling in or whatever. Or I guess this cool futuristic loader. Alright, uh, take the snack cakes even though we're just going to sell them off. Because I, wanna take, I don't want to get in the habit of missing any of our food ingredients. Uh, and then... Yeah, we're pretty much pretty much through here. I think there's one or two chests we'll want to loot. And then this guy should have... Ah, the Corvega safe key. Exactly. That's what we're, that's what we're going to be looting here. Yes, the steamer trunk. Not really anything amazing. An M1911 pistol, though, which is pretty cool. This is probably one of my favorite weapon mods. And you know what? We'll use this as a secondary weapon. Um, just because it's pretty solid. And I want to show off the mod. It's. I think it's my favorite pistol mod out of all of them. Uh, and then, yeah, where's that safe? Maybe, did we already loot it? Did we, like, break it open? All right. All right. Where is that fucking spotlight? These things drive me crazy. Is there another? Whoa, did more raiders wander in here? Get the... Kidding me? Can't hit anything with this terrible scope. And also, I really do want to know where that light is. It's driving me crazy. Uh... Aha! Son of a bitch. Get out of here. Oh, dog, you fighting somebody? Hey, hello. A single bottle cap. Wow, that was super worth it. <laughs> this guy must, be, uh, must have been a day away from payday. All right, so that's uh, pretty much everything, I guess. I, I thought there we got the safe key, but I'm not seeing the safe, which is kind of a shame. Um, I could have sworn it was just like right up here, but I guess uh, guess I was mistaken. Ah, well, that's okay. I'm sure we just looted it already. Uh, that said, though, uh, that is pretty much going to do it for the Corvega plant, and <clears throat> uh, once we clear out the rest of the roof, it'll probably do it for this episode. So let's go ahead and head outside and see if there's any stragglers left from our earlier escapades. Oh, it looks like we won't be using the hunting rifle, unfortunately. Okay, let's unchain the old door, so if we ever come back through, we can come in the back door. Or, I guess, top door. Yeah, and you'll recognize this area from where we were clearing everybody out before. Um, probably nothing worth looting since we did move through here already. But we're going to go across there and up onto the very highest point of the roof. Uh, because, if I'm not mistaken, there is a... Is it perception? 
bobblehead uh, up at the top of the towers. So we definitely want to grab that. Oop, definitely want to grab that before we move on. What is going on with these stairs? Come on, just let me up into the <laughs> into this like tube tunnel. This skyway that is mostly just skyway. Uh, flip lighter, take that for sure. Probably need some light in here. Dog bowl, don't really need. We'll eventually get one for dog meat, but I think there's actually one that just hangs out in sanctuary. Uh, back, back by the big tree uh, in the middle of the cul-de-sac. But, uh, this was still worth it. There's some really good stuff here. Anything over on this side? Yes, we got a couple of cabinets. And hey, I remember shooting you. Jerk. That was the person who kept ducking back behind the windows who hit us way too hard uh, on yesterday's episode. Okay, and we got even more chems. We gotta start using more chems, for real. And it sounds like some actual enemies here to fight. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the light and hope this rain doesn't cause too many issues. <laughs> Hello, friend. Ba-boom! Come on. I do realize I have a crit banked, but, uh, you know, this is just a regular old raider. Maybe the next one, if he's like a, uh, I don't know, got one of the uh, many adjectives that seems to be a health modifier. <laughs> Man, dog meat is just doing work somewhere. Come on, there's two people and the one person who's actually on our level. Get ready for a free crit, which is a guaranteed hit, by the way, if you didn't know. You cannot miss a critical strike. Nice. Kind of a shame we just used it on a regular old raider, but whatever. Uh, there's somebody down here. This must be who's fighting dog meat. Yep. Get out of here. And then... Another flip lighter. Nice. We're getting a lot of gold-plated items. Who is shooting at us from down here? Are you kidding me? Nice. You can shoot through the stairs. Can't shoot between pipes, but you can shoot between stairs. Good to know. Alright, so the rest of these guys are going to be up in this scaffolding up here. Oh, another spotlight. God damn these spotlights. Make me so mad. Oh, we've gotten now above at least one. There's somebody who's on our level here. I don't see him. That's okay. We'll go all the way up, and then hopefully we can shoot down at these fools. And also, our bobblehead is right over here, I believe. Oh, hey. Right by this guy. You hold on to this for me. Wow. You kidding me with that bat's aim? That was garbage. We gotta up our perception, guys. Oh, that was close. I thought he was gonna kill us there. There's always that moment when you're executing a melee attack where you're super vulnerable. Yes, here it is. Repair bobblehead. That's what it is. Uh, you may notice that my bobbleheads glow a little bit. Uh, that is a mod. Uh, it also works on my skill magazines as well as... Um, uh, hollow tapes, just because they can be kind of hard to spot, and I don't consider it a game-breaking thing to make them a little bit easier to hunt down. It's not like it tells me the location, but it does make me a little easier to spot if I'm there. Because, God, it's annoying when you've cleared a whole location, and you're like, where the hell is this bobblehead? And you're just <laughs> going through every room one at a time, trying to figure that shit out. Where? There is definitely another spotlight on me. There it is. Oh. Get out of here. Is there still another spotlight on me? No. Okay, it's just fog. Weirdly persistent and static fog. God damn, it is really coming down. Nothing worth looting here. Dog meat's on the trail, though. <laughs> Man, seriously, dog meat. I don't even know if... Like, I was thinking about spending the perks finally because I never bother to upgrade dog meat. But, uh... I don't know if it's even necessary. He's just, like, he's pinning down every single person that we run into. But, uh, anyways, that is pretty much it for the Corvega assembly plant. We have, uh, cleared out every single raider, ghoul, uh, looted every random wastelander and settler we've come across, and also cleared out all of the mechanical menace of those turrets that we had to deal with. Man, that was a pain. Um, but, for now, that is going to do it for this episode of our modded Fallout 4 playthrough. If you guys have enjoyed this, please be sure to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below so that I know. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.